I was so excited when I finally became a 911 operator. It was something I'd always wanted to do. Like so many other people, it was so that I could save lives, be a superhero. And I knew that you can't always save all of them. You know, they, they remind us that during training and I reminded myself as I got started and I was prepared. I was ready. I had made up my mind that even if I couldn't save them all, I was gonna do my very best. And no matter what the results, I was gonna leave knowing I did my very best. But nothing could have prepared me for that day. When I got the call, I started handling it just like I would any other one. I tried to, I tried to keep him calm. I tried to just be there with him and tried to reassure him that someone was on the way to help. And they were. But I knew when he told me he was on the 108th floor. I knew they wouldn't get to him in time. He kept telling me that they, they couldn't breathe. He kept, kept yelling, send somebody please. And I, I told him, I told him what I was supposed to. Sir, just calm down, help us on the way. Just stay low to the ground and try to keep breathing. It was so loud in the room. Every single phone was ringing. Thousands of calls flooding in all from the same place. And some of them, I, th I think they were able to help, but I, I knew that most of them. I could hear his voice getting more and more shallow. His breath. He was. He was struggling to speak. And I remember him saying, We're all young men here. We don't want to die. And I couldn't do anything. I wanted to run down there and climb up those stairs and save them. I couldn't. And then I heard the most horrible sound I'd ever heard. As he took his last breath. As he said his last word, I could, I could literally hear each floor crumbling on top of him. And then it was silence. I couldn't hear anything else. And not only that, but the whole room grew silent. The whole world was watching. The whole world was silent. 